어, 목사님들은 에, 전혀 급하게 생각하지 마시고 어, 기일도 정하지 마시고 시작해 보세요. And so the pastors must begin not urgently at all. 내 생에 70 제자 찾는 일을 하겠다. 이렇게 계획을 해 보세요. You must make the resolution and the plan that I will raise 70 disciples. You don't have to do it quickly. You must prepare the sure camp. Then you will be amazed. And you must begin this. And maybe it will be helpful to you, so I'll give you a few examples. When I went as an assistant pastor to evangelize, I did some assessments. An amazing thing took place when I did the assessment. If you look outside the church window, there are thousands of people waiting. What should we do? I set the plan to be led by the Holy Spirit. What must you do? You must uh, get in touch with a dorm leader. And you need a female uh, committed worker who could go in and out of this female dormitory. And nobody knows. It was a shock to me that Samwa factory, female dormitory, two workers attended our church. That's it. This finished much quicker than I thought. And so I called these two workers. And the pastor's office was big, so we did the word movement there. And this began to grow. And we got to utilize these workers. I went to the Sama factory dormitory, and the one in charge was a deacon. And from the mic, from the uh, manager of the dorm, I shared the message. And more than 300 people wanted to continue to do uh, Bible study, not just accept. Already the setting was done. This is the 70 workers I'm speaking of. Pastors can do this by themselves slowly. You don't have to go anywhere. Just call them say, let's share a meal. All you have to do is set it up. And in our church in Yeongdo, in our church, we saw people working hard. And I called them, I, I set them up. I told them to assess how many apartments, how many schools, how many factories. And they all reported back to me. And we set the leaders to do Bible study in each of those places. And we set the dates. And we ran. It's bound to take place. If you do something that will fail, then that's a loss. But we were completely led by the Holy Spirit. We were doing things that were bound to work. And we decided to reach out to Busan. Where should we go? Two places. The universities, the factories. And I started entering into the universities. And such a great grace when you go because these great professors are waiting for you. That's what you're looking for. You're not just going out to do camp first. And I went to the factories and I was shocked because my classmate owned a building. He was son of a rich man, and he became a pastor, but he wasn't doing any ministry, but it was 
시장 큰 시장인데 그게 시장의 상인 회장이 내 후배라. Weighing on his conscience, and so he started to do a word movement. And then the uh, leader of a large market also was my <laughs> underclassman. And there was a church that was built there. I asked him, "What is this church?" <laughs> and nobody gathers here, but an elder <laughs> built it. And can I use it? You could use it as much as you want. That's it. And then I sent uh, assistant pastor Beck and his team, and it was over. And so, slowly look for these seventy workers. It doesn't have to be quick, but you must be sure. Characteristic. It's not now whether they're good looking or bad looking. Those disciples, they're still doing it now. And uh, Pastor Kim Ingi, we started Tarapang at his house. And that's the evangelist like that arises. Look at that. If God's plan is sure, nothing is difficult, and you must make this. Don't waste your time anywhere else. Scattered disciples, you've heard this well. The correct mission home. Then what is 20, prayer 24, answer 24? Even new believers must understand is what is this 24? Simply said, the triune God is with you. Even that, He's with you through the blessing of the throne. And completely, He has prepared the blessing to save the age, and then He has called you. If that is the case, you need to put the five foundations here. What is Tarakbang? Already with this blessing, the people who gather with only uniqueness recreation, that is the Tarakbang. What is team ministry? The meeting takes place between the people who enjoy the 393 and only uniqueness and recreation. Then what is the mission home? You realize the mission. You realize that this is the ministry that must take place at my house. That is 24. Is there a different 24? Are we going to be counting away the minutes and the hours for 24? Secondly, what is 24? This covenant of 393 in my thoughts, in my heart, and imprinted in my brain and dug into my soul. This is connected with the throne. And the evidence will come to my body through the throne. And the evidence will come in my life. That is 24. Scattered disciples must remember this. And there's another 24. And so this 393, what happens? This throne, what happens? It becomes a platform. If it becomes a platform, people will come even if you don't ask them to.
You'll be a watchtower, you shine the light. If there's a way, you could save them and lead them, and you will become the antenna that communicates with the kingdom of God in the world. This is what we call 24. Scattered disciples must discover this, and the pastors, I said before, slowly discover the 70 workers. Listen, as an example, there was a great elder, but there was no position in the church for him. That could be. It was, uh, he wasn't even saddened by that, but we can't give every position to everybody. I sent a text message to that elder. That's all you have to do. Elder, you do the multi-ethnic 70 disciple movement. That is what God is most pleased with. The position of the church is not so important. It's important, but we could do it when it's needed. Most important thing is saving people. You don't even have to go anywhere. The 70 nations, the 20, 37 nations, they are here in Korea, make 70 disciples. And as I knew it, this elder understood my words. That's my job. That is your job. You have a great talent, and that talent must receive answers. You must tell them this. They might not know it, so organize this message, relate to them. That is your mission. The scattered disciples. And the blessing of 24, the three contents you must do. Simply said, mission. And how can we relay it? How can we relay this blessing that must continue to arise? Especially the secret of the uh, early church and the Antioch church. It was relayed to the homes, the way to save China. This immense blessing of the throne was relayed to the homes. And ultimately relate to the individuals. This is God's plan. China is not closed, it's an opportunity. The day the doors open, the problems will arise. It's better the doors are closed. Now is the greatest opportunity. You are the greatest disciples. That's right. If you do this. If you're enjoying this, you're doing it 24 hours a day. What is Mission Home? Calvary, Mount of Olives, and Barks of Peru. You must relay this. How? Relay it to their homes. That is why it's the 50, 70 disciples of the 70 regions, 70 fields. Every day from the temple courts, every day in their homes, the word was relayed. In the home of Ananias. That's right. In the home of Simon the Tanner. Let's do this work. At Lydia's home. At Jason's home. In the home of Priscilla Aquila, that's it. Let's do this. Pastors, doesn't matter what anybody says in the church, if there is a conflict between the elder and the pastor, it does not matter. All you have to do is do this. 
Don't fear the words of other people. If your words are being fulfilled, then everyone must follow you. If PS pastors are doing the most important work that God desires, then all their words will be fulfilled and everybody's bound to follow you. Ultimately, we relate to the individual. What is it? If you help yourself to be throne oriented, then you help your family to be throne oriented. Then you will be able to establish a throne through your meetings. This is what we must do. The scattered people do not worry. You must be thankful. Don't make excuses. Be thankful. If a problem comes, be thankful. God is helping you realize. If you have a hardship, you must be thankful. If I'm being criticized, you must be thankful. If somebody tells me on my wrongdoing, be thankful. That's right. God is giving you the realization. You must remember. The theme of this missions convention. God will give an important answer. If you look at the term 70 is in the Bible, there are so many interesting events. We will uh, confirm this convention. Let us pray. God, we give thanks and praise. We thank you for calling the evangelists of this age. May the works you desire take place through these people. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen.